and um, yeah, that's about it. Um, What's up, everybody? I'm back. How you guys doing? Welcome back to my channel. This is New K-Pop for You. And I'm back because I realized there is a reaction that I should have made because I missed one last week and it's to BM's new solo. And um, if you don't know who BM is, he is um, one of the four members of CARD. It is spelled K-A-R-D. And um, if you haven't heard of CARD, CARD is actually a four-member group that uh, is comprised of, you know, obviously BM, and then I'm gonna make sure I say these guys' names right, so I'm looking up here to make sure I say their names right, because I butchered all the Promise Nine girls' names in the last three videos I posted recently. If you haven't seen those, go check them out. Um, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> had to put that in there real quick. Anyways, um, I butchered all those girls' names, and I felt so bad because I even said, like, hey, look at me, I know how to speak a little bit of Korean, and I know how to read all the characters, and then I butchered all their names anyways, and I'm like, okay, that made you look really bad, come on. So, um, I have their names right here, made sure I know how to say them all correctly, so if you guys actually want to go look at card and, you know, maybe listen to some of their stuff and get into them, hopefully, maybe, I don't know, whatever you want to do, <laughs> um, you can do that. And, um, sorry, dramatic pause. I just really wanted to really build that moment for you guys. <laughs> okay. Anyways, their names. So the first one, it, well, we'll say obviously BM's in there. And then the other one is, um, I'm going to say it like the Korean way, which would be, uh, Jsep. Um, sorry, Jsep, which is kind of hard to say. So in like the English terminology, it's probably more so like Jsep because it's spelled like almost like Joseph, but you don't have the O or the S in there. Or let's see, what is missing? No, just the O. So, you know, for me as an American speaking English, I would say JSEP. But in the Korean way, it would be JESEP because um, the they don't have the letter F actually. Well, I say I should say they don't really have a character to represent the letter F in Korean. So they kind of don't have that PH sound that has like the F. Like if you said Joseph, you know, we don't, you know, we say that in America, but over there they don't have an F sound. So they just kind of use usually a P, um, give or take whatever the word is. Um, I'm going way into much detail on his name. But the point is, for me, I would say Joseph. For um, for Koreans, maybe they say Jesep. I, you know, however you want to say his name is up to you. Um, then we have So Mean is one of the other members. And we also have Jiu. Um, which is spelled like actually J-I-W-O-O, -O, but you pronounce it as G-U. So um, those are the four members. And um, what's cool about this group actually also is that it's a uh, mixed group. It's two girls and two guys, which you don't really see very often. Usually, you know, in Korean, you know, in K-pop, I should say, you see the, you know, girl groups and guy groups. You don't really see them mixed together. And um, that's why I love about these, you know, this group of four, because you have this nice duality of two guys and two girls. Perfectly even, you know. Yeah, if you guys haven't heard of Card, then I'm gonna go ahead and just throw over to the side here a little preview of one of their songs in case you wanna, you know, in case I can pique your interest in wanting to check them out. So I'm gonna put that in right over here, <laughs> real quick. That's not what we're here for. We're not here for me to talk about card. We're here for me to talk about BM. So BM has a new solo out that I missed from last week. It's called Lie. So I'm gonna go ahead and react to that now. Um, I don't, I've not, actually, this will be my first reaction where I haven't actually heard the song. And um, cause the Promise Nine one I did last week, I'd already heard the song. So I kind of gave you guys more of a, you know, secondary reaction slash analysis. This will be my first time seeing this. So this will be my first true reaction for you guys. So I'm curious to see, you know, how this goes. So um, we're gonna go ahead and jump into the reaction right now without further ado. Oh, 
This is a lot softer than what their, his last comeback was. Ooh. Oh, the way that that, like, 808 comes in is so heavy. Wow. And it's interesting. It's like his voice almost sounds like it's got some kind of effect on it. Um, unless if that's just like when I'm hearing my headphones, maybe it's kind of throwing me off. Um, but it almost sounds like there's a really cool effect on his, his voice. That is so interesting. And wow, I did not expect that. Okay, so sorry. <laughs> 14 seconds in, I'm already pausing it. But that's that was just threw me off. That's so cool. So we're going to let's go back again a little bit. Because when that 808 comes in, it's so heavy. I'm like, oh my gosh, that was so cool. Let's just completely start over. Like, back to like four seconds. Like, listen to this 808. This is insane, guys. realized I don't have the subtitles up. Sorry guys, let me get those up for you real quick. There we go. Okay, sorry. I didn't mean to do that. All right, now we got subtitles up. Now we're ready for a real reaction. Let's do this. <laughs> oh, never mind. There's no, it just says music. Well, that was an epic fail. Sorry guys, I was hoping for some <laughs> subtitles for you guess no subtitles all right anyways let's just keep going <laughs> oh now they're kind of coming in Ooh, there's a nice guitar in the background if you listen there's a nice guitar in the background now it's cool it's like going from the nice big heavy 808s to nice little guitar for the verses that's cool that's nice. And like I said, this is like almost the complete opposite of what his last one was. You know, his his last um, comeback was very hard hitting. And um, I was kind of expecting that for this one again, but it's not. And it's a different side of him I've not really seen before. So it's kind of cool. I'm, I'm intrigued to see where the rest of the song goes. I don't know if there's going to be a drop. I can't tell yet. So let's just see. I'm curious. Oh, oh that. Oh. That 808 is so heavy, guys. Oh my gosh. That's insane. I mean, I'm listening to these in, like, really nice headphones. Like, these are very expensive headphones. And, like, you know, they give me pretty high-quality sound. Um, maybe not as good as my studio would, but, you know, pretty close. And it's, like, that is heavy. Like, oh my gosh. I'm wondering if those would actually, like, translate well in, like, some, like, regular, like, cheap he uh, headphones or earphones. But, oh my gosh, that is so heavy. I want to go back again, like, when that first comes in, because that was so awesome. Okay, it sounds like there's gonna be a drop here, so I'm curious to see if we're gonna get one. Let's find out. I don't know. almost like it's more like a um, hip-hop like kind of drop you know you still got the 808s in there and stuff you kind of can hear the guitar still in the background or whatnot um, maybe a little bit of synthesizers now and stuff it's almost like a um, I'd almost call this almost like a more upbeat lo-fi track is like the way I would describe it um, very very much like that which is uh, cool like I said I, I was not expecting this it's kind of throwing me off but I think I'm into it Let's just keep going. I'm, I'm intrigued. <laughs> I love the random just subtitles that keep popping in. I don't know if somebody tried to do the subtitles, but they failed miserably or what. 
but it's just like every once in a while they come in and it just cracks me up. <laughs> That's really cool. That's that's one of those things that like as me making videos now, as me, as I'm making videos now, that's better. Um, this kind of stuff is what really blows my mind. It's really cool to see because like growing up, I was always really into like digital photography and stuff like that. I always was really intrigued by you know the way that people, you know, created like videos on YouTube and whatnot. Um, cause I mean, I've been watching videos on YouTube since I can even remember, like probably 2012 or so. And, um, this kind of stuff really is what really blows my mind. And I like to see this kind of stuff and these music videos. And I think that's what separates almost like K-pop from, you know, the music videos we at least here have in America and whatnot. Cause they just bring so much like creativity and they bring the, you know, such you know, phenomenal, like, artistic stuff. Like, I kind of wish I knew what the song was saying so I could kind of understand if this has to do with anything that what he's singing about. But, like, you know, just in general, like, this graphic is just something that really is appealing to me and the, you know, I guess the creative person inside me, you know? If that makes sense, hopefully. <laughs> I don't know. Hey, yeah. <laughs> Man, that just makes such a huge impact in the song. Just a uh, boom, boom, just hard hitting 808s and whatnot. Oh my gosh, that just, we're gonna go back and do that again because it's just, that's such a powerful, and I really kind of wish he would have done like, it's kind of like he's rapping here, but not quite rapping. I really wish he would have done maybe a little bit of a rap in this area, because it just, with those heavy hitting 808s, it would have really, really hit hard. And yeah, we're gonna do that again, because oh my gosh, <laughs> what? <laughs> I love my medication in our own world that's our location. I just swap some and can't separate us. <laughs> yeah, okay, I was right in the beginning that they definitely did have an effect on his voice because you just heard it there for two seconds again. So I was right there. Okay, good. I want to make sure, make sure I wasn't going crazy. <laughs> That's cool. That looks really sick. It's almost like, it's like that space effect again, but it's almost like he's like stuck almost in like a galaxy, it looks like. That's so cool. Like, oh my gosh. <laughs> kind of a unfortunate, a <laughs> little bit of an unfortunate pause on him. He kind of looks like he's like being sucked into a black hole. Uh, but, oh, I, I mean, it does say Lost in Euphoria. That is almost, you know, a very euphoric type of, like, background setting. So that does make sense, actually. I can see the whole space thing. That makes a lot of sense now, just in general. I still really wish I knew what the lyrics were saying because it might actually really help me tie everything together. But um, in general, though, that's actually really cool. It makes sense now. Okay. I'm making, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. <laughs> It's definitely very catchy. It seems like it'd be really fun to sing. That was cool. I don't know what that was. It's almost like a really like dramatic effect. Oh, it's already over? Oh man. I was enjoying that. Wow, that was cool. Okay. That was so cool. That was not what I expected from him, honestly. Um yeah, that was lot different than what I remember him doing in his uh, last so uh, solo that he had. Um, 
This last one, like I said, was very uplifting and very heavy hitting and just like, he really brought his normal like rap style. I mean, he's, you know, in the group, he's technically like one of the uh, other, he's kind of considered a rapper, but he also does a lot of the singing too. Um, and uh, I think that really Joseph is the one who really, you can, if you listen to their music, you'll see he does a lot of the rapping more so than BM does, but BM does also. So um, I'd consider him technically a rapper also. Um, I'd probably, you know, it'd be interesting to look up what their positions are um, to see, because I don't really stand card um, per se, like I don't know them that well. I just, there's a good amount of songs that I have from them that I really, really like. And I guess I probably should, you know, maybe look into standing them because if I do have a lot of their music, I could also really get into them in terms of the members too. But regardless, anyways, that was um, BM Lie, um, Lost in Euphoria. Lost in Euphoria, there we go. <laughs> um, like I said, very different than what I was expecting. I still really like it. I think I'm gonna add it to the library. How much will I listen to it? Eh, I don't really know. It's, it's like I said, it's good. It's not, like, I don't know if it's gonna really be on the top of my list. I don't think I'd throw it in, like, my list of, like, my top music that I have um, for K-pop. But, um, you know, it's 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 a solid track, you know? I think that it'll come back around, maybe. Um, but yeah, I enjoyed that. I think that, you know, the 808s really, really surprised me. Those were so heavy hitting, and I am, like, I was just blown away by that. and. I think that, like I said, it's almost like a very, you know, solid lo-fi, a little bit heavier hitting hip hop track. Um, I mean, lo-fi is kind of yeah, like, kind of hip hoppy, anyways. But you know, I digress. Anyways, um, so yeah, that was my reaction. Like I said, um, this is my first true reaction, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. And um, you know, if you guys. Uh, have any other songs that you think I missed this past month? As we're about to get into February, I'm gonna be having a lot more comebacks that I'm gonna be diving into. But if you think there's any that I missed in January that I should go and react to, let me know. Um, let me know in the comments down below. And um, otherwise, um, you know, like, subscribe, click the bell, you know, all that stuff. <laughs> um, but honestly, you know, guys, um, I've seen that I've got a lot, a little bit more traction lately on, especially on my Promise 9 videos. And um, it's really cool to see that. But you know, what really helps me with this channel is if you subscribe, because the more people I know are coming back to see what I want to put out, the more I have the motivation to want to keep this going and, you know, be able to say like, okay, this is, this is something I can keep doing. This is something that will work. And um, yeah, that's about it. Um, Yeah, I spaced out there then. <laughs> Bye.